Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, short video on uh, TIS PI preparation 2020. I hope all of you are keeping safe at home, all of you are keeping well. Uh, so we are in a slightly different situation uh, you know, due to COVID-19 outbreak uh, and a very long uh, lockdown that a uh, lot of colleges they have ended up uh, changing their interview process uh, for the final phase of uh, selection and uh, similarly even TIS had to do it. And in this particular video, we are going to talk about that uh, how do you uh, need to focus going uh, forward in terms of your preparation for this uh, second stage of admission process. Just as a quick reminder, last year we had 137 final selections from our courses uh, across uh, testnet preparation. Now, let's let's have a quick uh, look at some of the changes uh, so first of all PIT has been scrapped so as per uh, the process for the students who are yet to have their PI and uh, those who could not have their PI before uh, the entire lockdown thing for them PIT has been scrapped in the final conversion 40% weightage has been given to your PI performance and 60% weightage uh, is given to your testnet score now uh, we all remember that HRM and ODCL students they had to undertake a different exam called TISMAT as well. So for HRM and ODCL uh, instead of 60% weightage for TISNET score it would be 40% weightage for TISNET score and 20% for TISMAT score. So uh, your TISMAT preparation your TISMAT performance does not go for a waste it would count in your final selection if you appeared uh, or say if you applied for HRM and ODCL. Interestingly all the interviews are going to be conducted online you would not be going offline to the campus to uh, give your PI so all the interviews will be conducted entirely online so uh, the mode with which we conduct your mock interviews which is uh, the online mode uh, practicing through that mode is going to help you a lot for your uh, final preparation for the final lab. Uh, you know, in the form of interview at this. Now what areas to focus extensively for PI? It's very important that you have a very very strong clarity on your career path. Having a very strong clarity on your career path always helps you in cracking personal interview of an institute like this. So know yourself, know where you stand today, know where you want to reach in your uh, career and you should be able to express that articulate that and also be able to talk about that how does the course from which you have the call from is going to act as a bridge and uh, enable you to achieve your uh, you know, career path in an effective way so you should be able to talk about this and uh, link to the above uh, thing itself is the question that why do you want to join this course so these two things why do you want to join this course your clarity about your career path these two are the most critical pillars of your interview performance so you need to be very well prepared with it apart from this the third area from which this has been asking a lot of questions to the students who have had their interview already and uh, especially the international students who had their uh, interviews conducted online is uh, questions uh, related to graduation, any projects which you may have done, any internships which you may have done, any NGO work or any other work ex related questions. So these are going to form an important part and the third most important pillar of your interview performance. Apart from these, uh, the fourth pillar would constitute of current affairs around your course topic and the COVID related questions. Uh, COVID related questions could be asked both uh, from the national front as well as from the state front from which you are coming especially if you are from the state which uh, has been a uh, lot in news because of its uh, management of uh, COVID. So uh, these five points you know, form the four most important pillars for your interview performance. First one, know yourself. Second pillar, why do you want to join this course? Third pillar, graduation projects, internships, NGO work excursions. Fourth pillar, current affairs uh, plus COVID related questions. Now, what questions to expect in uh, you know, around COVID? First of all, you know, you may very well have your interview start with a question, how has lockdown treated you? And what, what's that one thing which you learned during the lockdown? We have had a long enough lockdown and it is expected that as a constructive professional, as a self-motivated professional, as a proactive professional, 
I would have learned something new. This could be learning a new recipe. This could be doing something around fitness. This could be doing something around yoga. This could be around, uh, you know, playing an instrument. This could be along developing, uh, you know, the addiction for a new sport. Or any any of these could be, you know, the answers for this kind of a question. You know, they they can also ask you that how ready do you think India is now uh, to handle the future surge in cases of corona? Plus, what improvements do you think that you know India should make? in its health care for, for uh, uh, handling any such pandemic in future. So uh, these are some of the questions followed by another set of questions like what is the impact of Corona on middle class workforce that goes to office, impact of Corona on economy, how as an HR do you think workforce could have been managed well? This is an important question for those who are uh, appearing for HRM and ODCL. Then uh, things like impact of Corona on agriculture, MSMEs, mi migrant labors. One thing which you need to remember in all these answers is try to include the data points. Do not give subjective answers. There are so many data points around all these areas which are floating in the news. Pull out those data points, frame your answers, come out as a very, very well read person while you are answering these questions in the interview. They can also ask you about Aroge Setu app. This is another important thing which is going on. So try to read about Aroge Setu app as much as you can. Plus, uh, from the state level, they can ask you questions around the number of corona cases in your state, what's the current situation in your uh, state, uh, you know, uh, why are the, you know, some of the states hiding the cases, uh, you know, how, how are you handling the attack on corona warriors, especially if you are, say, uh, someone who has applied for masters in public health, masters in hospital administration, uh, you know, these, these kind of questions you know, could come to you because you are going to be the future uh, warrior for such kind of a pandemic situation if you are the part. Uh, you should also be aware of uh, the cases uh, from your state, the recovery rate, the mortality rate and how are these uh, numbers pegged against the national average for these uh, metrics. So it's important for you to prepare all these questions. And while you are preparing uh, things around COVID, do not forget to have a good answer for the question like what kind of an impact do you want to create in your courses field? What are the top government schemes, especially the Atman Nibar scheme is what you should be very well aware of. And one very, very basic question, who is the Health Minister of India? I'm pretty sure that all of you know it, but still ensure that you do not forget it, right? So it's very important. And plus, once again, I, I emphasize on the fact that do go through your projects, do go through your internships, do go through the NGO work which you have done. There would be questions which will be asked from there with this. We come to the end of this quick video. I wish everyone all the best for your interview. Do not get worried about the new format. Do not worry about the PIT being scrapped. Even if uh, you are slightly behind in your TISNET score or TISMAT score, you can very well make up for everything with a very, very strong PI performance. And all of you are very well capable of having a strong PI performance because I believe if you are watching this video, you are preparing with us and we are here to help you out at every stage. Do not forget to ask any questions. We are here to help you out with the best possible answer for the most critical questions so that you are all set for the big day. Thank you everyone. Wish you all the best once again.